How you doing? You see this? At your northern hemisphere. See that? Upper level. Right here. See that? That's a clockwise rotation. The entire northern hemisphere. And I predicted this would happen. Nobody on the planet has ever seen this happen. I predicted it would. This is what you would refer to as the polar vortex. It grew this year. I watched it overtake about a month ago and said it would overtake the entire planet and crush these levels right down to the surface, which you can see swirl. For swirl. It's going right to the surface. There is no in-between buffer zones. The oceans are turning blue because we have Cherenkov radiation permeating into the oceans. Let's cover that. It's very blue. It's particles moving faster than the speed of light. It was discovered in the water. We've been watching it accumulate as electric fog throughout the last couple of years, getting thicker and thicker in our atmosphere. Something we were watching tonight, IMF is by definition interplanetary magnetic field lines, it's this blue stuff. That means by definition it is not Earth's magnetosphere. Reaching in from behind, entangling, and blowing out in a fucking push, those field lines. Pretty interesting, huh? That has nothing to do with planet Earth. It's something behind us. You can see it at night. There you go. Here's your Cherenkov radiation, the crunch. I can tell right now your shooting was spiking. <laughs> it has been. I can tell that from looking at my Y cut. It tells me everything I need to know. If you don't know how to read this, then you should probably go over to Homebrews and check it out. And yes, these are elevated. We're going to continue. Lots of quakes diversely across the planet. <clears throat> um, what was it, about six months, I guess, before CERN discovered the muon? I had read it on a hieroglyph. <clears throat> Funny enough made quite a few videos about it. I didn't quite understand how in the hell this was kept a secret for so long. The magnet, magnetic properties, instantaneous at a distance, entanglement, etc., etc., everything, nothing's a goddamn mystery anymore. Every atom at the center is a strong magnet field. It takes frequency to make matter coalesce. Well, We've shown the experiments that Lee was doing and everything else, the back of the movie screens, and let's cover that. Magnetic repelation. 1748 hertz. Ra, the blue kachina. He's got a short end and a long end to his tunic, which is the crosshairs on fucking this one. Horace's box, which are a bunch of fucking planet magnet signatures that are also all over fucking Peru, not only Giza. We've got Mercury, Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Saturn, and Saturn, and Jupiter, and fucking Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. Mm hmm. At 1748 hertz, and here's your magnet. I didn't know I had one. Medically, we do. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Here is Ra's staff. There's Ra's staff, because that sun is holding a planet. See how that works? Here's your son, he's got a little dingly cobra right there, and a conical hat. Just like they carved in every stone that didn't roll fast enough in the morning, and they wore little hats just like his too. It's not coincidence, it's not Jesus on fucking toast. That is a C and E from behind the planet. This is your magnet revelation, this is your planet. Right here, this magnetosphere in the... Um, IR spectrum, this is a UV sensor on a 
weather sensor that was uh, made to <clears throat> study auroras about 25 foot in the air. It's 25 foot fucking UV sensor. That way it can only read what's in the sky. Well, guess what? There's you a dot. See your dot? It's a very classic magnetosphere. That's your short end. Here's your long end. Just like Bra is depicted with his tunic. That is Ra's tunic. He's got the short end and the long end. And every time you look at Ra, he's got a short end and a long end. He's even got a short end and a long end on a goddamn career. Everywhere he's at. Okay? Here, here's a giraffe. Here's 1748 hertz on a metal plate. There it is on the back of a movie screen. And we've also seen it right there in the hybrid world. This plane, centripetal, centrifugal, impact wave, energy moving through matter, causing drag. This is how you fucking drive that plane. Just like John Deere with the four winds. It's magnetic. <laughs> Figured out how the Dendera box works. It's uh, non-moving parts, just opposing magnetic fields with wire in it. Ken Wheeler does a good demonstration of that on his page. Paul McArray with a new Didion magnet. Your moon's rising like this and setting like that, or rising like that and setting like this. Either way, it's rolling 180 degrees. That is technically a wax and wane moon. You shouldn't see that from the front porch every night. That means you're going from north to south on the planet. Let's demonstrate. Southern hemisphere, clockwise rotation. Northern hemisphere. Clockwise rotation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Blue Pacino. It's an ultraviolet sun. It's a black light. The dark star. It, it's just, it's raw. Okay? That's, that's the first time I've seen it depicted. I've looked into this. This isn't something I stumbled into yesterday. Although it may as well be. I didn't know I had a magnet until then or yesterday. Fuck. This tilted us. We used to oppose our ecliptic by 23 degrees, rotating like this. Put yourself up here in the northern hemisphere here. Most of you probably live up in this region, okay? How you like that? There you go. So you're fucking rotating around, and the moon rises wax and sets wax. Then it goes wane and sets wane. That's a daily thing. That's a monthly thing. It's a process. Now, daily, we're seeing the whole process because our axis shifted. NASA said your axis shifted. Now you're rolling like this. Same direction. It just, we, our axis shifted. Guess what? It was not cow farts. It was not my SUV. And it sure as fuck wasn't volcanoes. It was raw. That polar vortex kept getting bigger and bigger as it kept getting closer and closer. Now you can look outside while you're watching the moon fucking do a cartwheel over a 12 hour period. It isn't going to fucking do it in like five minutes. You watch it rise and then look at it, it's set. It takes about five minutes, five minutes. And that's if you're drawing a picture. The way you can compare your pictures if you can't remember what it looked like. It's doing 180 degree roll. This is doing exactly this a few hours apart. Umbrew has its time stamped over here. Okay? This video response to Stuart. One of the best videos on this subject. I'm pretty over the subject. We've already discussed it. A lot of people might have missed it. But as you can see, the sunspots are rolling on the sun in the daytime from a telescope on the planet. It shouldn't be doing that. There's Jupiter with its moons doing the same thing. Everything on the ecliptic is doing a little rock and roll dance because we laid down horizontal with the ecliptic. 180 degrees. Everything in the fucking sky is rolling. Venus rises before the sun. It sets after the sun. The daylight 
time is doing a curve or two right along with them then some spots everything that we're looking at so we're up here we're rolling down like that that's over way you can make that shadow roll like it is Now, this is what you're supposed to look like from the declination on the planet that you're at. We spin the moon orbits. 6.24 degrees is all this body moves every night. Every 12 hours, it rolls about 12.8, 13 degrees roughly. Every 24 hours. But you're only looking at this body every 12 hours. So it may as well be sitting still at 6.24 degrees. Now if you want, lay it down on the table with a flashlight beside it. And spin yourself some fucking circles. Have fun. Don't make yourself fall down. Because it's not going to flip. Until you bend over and touch your toes. Period. It's one. Now if you have any questions about what's wax and what's wane. North and South Hemisphere views. This used to be one of the main, the only really navigational tool that, you know, the stars and the moon that we had for centuries. And we couldn't go east to west on the planet. We had to go north and south on the planet because the tilt of the moon would tell you exactly where the fuck you are on the planet. Now it's rolling 180 degrees. There's no way to navigate. You want to debate me? Go debate NASA. Go debate popular mechanics. Go debate everybody else. There's 32,800,000 people you're going to have to debate because they say the axis shifted. If the axis shifted, therefore the moon, if it shifted one degree, the moon is not doing what it used to do. Period. It's not normal. Discussion over. Unless, of course, you think we live on a flat Earth and the rotation in the axis position of the fucking planet has nothing to do with the moon's shadow. Because it has everything to do with the moon's shadow. You can't roll the shadow on a ball by rolling the ball. You have to roll the observer. Wake up. Humans have a magnet field. I read it on a hieroglyph. I didn't understand it. I went and looked it up. There you go, just like Earth's. You bring this frequency to this one, it inherits strength and you're on the magnet chain. It's starting to sound like you're going to inherit the Earth and become the second shield when you need one because we live in a three sun system. Damn, that might be some information people try to keep away from us. Funny, humans can sense magnet fields. Funny, you can also feel yours in your palms. Put them slightly apart in front of you. And you're going to feel the warmth in your palms that you inducing energy through your palms, through your hands, because you're a living magnet. You have a sack around your heart full of neurons that carry your memory and your emotions. If you'd like, there's scholarly articles on it. Memory and emotions are held here, not in your brain. It's a recent discovery, 2006. They used to think it was in the brain. We now know that is not true. Emotions have everything to do with the heart and the body. They, as they do with the brain. Your body has organs that hold the neurons and the memory in them. You're literally created to be the difference in this. Professor Dave debunked me. <clears throat> this is for you, man. This is recent discoveries. Check it out. It's not particle, dude. It's magnet. And it explains everything. From galactic to the atomic. It's amazing. 